everybody today I'm going to be doing a video on my piercings and my tattoo I'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit and so basically since I'm going to try to do this really fast because I made one and it was too long to upload from my um, iPhone if you have any questions or if I missed anything or whatever just ask me or whatever message me and I will try to help you um, first off I want to say that I am definitely not a professional tattoo artist or piercer or anything of the sort. I am just someone who loves tattoos and piercings. Um, and so definitely go to a professional place um, to have your tattoos and piercings done. Don't have them done in like your basement or um, in a place that's not sanitary. Um, and definitely have it done by a professional because even if it's a little cheaper, the outcome could be really bad. I mean, I've seen some really bad um, tattoos and piercings that have gotten infected or that just aren't done properly. So even though it probably will cost you more money, it's better to go to a professional. And also, same thing, for products to use after your piercings or tattoos, definitely um, consult a professional tattoo artist or a piercer or even a doctor for that matter because you definitely don't want to just go off of something that you heard from a friend. Okay, so I'll get started with my piercings. I do not have a ton, even though I would have more if it wasn't for my family and my husband. I love piercings. Um, I just have three holes on my earlobe. I started out with the normal one that most people get. It's just the typical piercing at the bottom of the earlobe. I got it when I was probably, like, I would guess, anywhere from 13 to 16 because my dad did not want me to have them done, but finally I convinced him. And then it didn't take me long to get my second hole done. Um, the first one I got done near where I live. The second one I got done while I was on a family vacation in Massachusetts. And I believe my third hole I got done while I was in Montana on vacation. I think. I believe so. But anyways, um, piercings in your lobes definitely do not hurt hardly at all. On a scale of 1 to 10, it would be like a 1 or a 2 for pain. It's a quick pinch. And since the healing process doesn't isn't too bad, um, you know. Obviously, I put it at a one over two, one or a two. Um, with the healing process, you just want to follow the directions that they give you, like to turn the piercings and take care of them. And you do want to take care of them properly. And you should also get, um, when you first get it done, have a high grade, like a surgical seal or something, or a gold, just in case you're allergic and you don't know it. So I have obviously three on each side. And then at one point in time, I did have my cartilage done right here. And I would recommend if you want your cartilage done, go to a piercing parlor um, for the simple fact that if they use a gun that it can shatter your cartilage and also my experience was like I had all these done at piercing pagoda or whatever in the mall and they healed excuse me they healed fine so I figured why not have it done so in between classes at college I went to the local mall and I had it done and it seemed fine at first on a scale of 1 to 10. Pain, I mean, it was probably like a 3 or a 4. And it started to heal okay. Well, then it kept getting those little bubbles of pus or whatever. And so I decided since it wouldn't heal, I think what happened was because the um, earring was not long enough, it kept, like, since it was swollen, because that's your body's natural defense mechanism, like its reaction, it was inflamed, I think since it didn't have enough room it just made it worse so I bought a little tiny captive ring from Walmart and it came with some other earrings and I switched it out and it started to heal for a while and then it just wasn't healing I think just due to the fact that it's in an area where I mean you're gonna talk on the phone and you're gonna lie down and it's just gonna keep moving it so I did not have a good time with that so my advice is definitely have it done at a piercing parlor done by a professional and I would not have it done with a gun I mean, I know people that it's been fine for, but my, my personal experience with a gun with my cartilage was terrible. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, I mean, to save yourself the chance of whether it's going to work or not and save yourself the money, I would just go have it done at a professional place. I might get it redone eventually, but I'd rather just have my trigus done. And if I do get that done, which I plan on getting it done kind of soon, I will do a video if my cartilage is big enough because I have a really small piece of cartilage right there anyways so I only have one other piercing it is my belly button and it's healed properly I've had it done for a couple of years now and when they pierced it they used a cap or well they didn't use a captive ring to pierce it they put it in after it was pierced 
and um depending on where you go they might use either like a captive ring or like a banana one which is just the typical what most people have in their belly button um I'm not going to tell you which one you should do. Um, definitely when you go to a professional place, they will let you know what's best. Um, I did not have any problems with mine healing. Um, it did not get infected at all. It was sore for quite a while. It took probably about a year before it was completely healed, like most people say. So the healing time was kind of whatever. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, it actually pain wise it did not hurt much at all I would put it at like a three it was like a pinch just like when you get your earlobes done because it is soft tissue and like I said it didn't hurt bad the healing time makes it a little worse like if you add the healing time on a scale to one to ten it's probably like an eight it got very frustrating for me especially because it wasn't a banana ring uh, the captive ring it would move a lot so obviously it would stick out a little further so it did get irritated and it caught a couple of times um definitely worth it I do love my belly button ring and for piercing I use the H2 Ocean Spray which I would recommend to everybody it helped it heal really well and I wish I would have used it as soon as I got my piercing done because I think it would have healed sooner because it really sped up the process it felt like um, they have lots of types of rings for belly buttons. I had, for a while, nobody knew I had it done in my family, so I used this clear, um, belly button ring, which you shouldn't leave these in a long time because it is just plastic, and I heard that it can actually, like, grow into your skin. And then they also have, like, an upside down one. Like, this is, like, tribal. And then they have, like, the long belly button rings, and also you should be very careful when you wear the long belly button rings because they can catch on your clothes and other things, and they can rip out, so you should be really careful. Um... I think that's it for piercings um, for me. I don't have any other ones, and I think that's a lot of advice. Um, I'll put little annotations if I forgot anything. And then um, the newest thing I got was my tattoo. Um, my first thing I want to say about tattoos is definitely make sure it's something that you want. When I was 17 years old, well, about 16, 17, I was like, wow, I really want a tattoo. That's so cool. And I was obsessed with Hello Kitty. And I still love Hello Kitty, don't get me wrong, but it's not something I would want on my body. And, I mean, some people have it, and it's really cute, and if that's what you want, that's great. But it's definitely not something that I would be happy if I had it now. Um, I wanted Hello Kitty's face on each side of my hips. And it is cute, but, like I said, I wouldn't be happy with it now. And so I waited, and now I'm 22 years old. And, like I said, I would personally, for me, regret that decisions so I definitely think when you are going to get a tattoo you, you should really 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 think um think thoroughly if you want that for the rest of your life I mean there is tattoo removal now which is awesome and there is also like the wrecking bomb which I do not personally know if it works or not and you can also cover tattoos up by using certain makeups so there are those options out there but I definitely think that you should research it first and on a scale of, well, I got sense, let's see, I got cherry blossoms, oh, wow, wrong foot. <laughs> I got cherry blossoms on my foot. I just put some lotion on there because I'm still slightly in the healing process. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10 pain, I would definitely put it at like an 8 or a 9. Um, it hurt more than I thought it was going to hurt, even though people told me it hurt a lot. I kind of was like, yeah, I have a good threshold for pain. Um, I didn't scream or anything, so everyone thought it didn't hurt me, and they thought I did really well. But, um... I'm just pretty much a trooper and I sat through it. It was well worth it. It took like about an hour, maybe maybe a little more. And the shading I thought hurt the worst, even though my best friend got the same thing and she thought the outline hurt the worst. So it's personal opinion. And everyone, everyone's pain threshold is different. So um, like I said, though, it was well worth it. And when it comes to the healing process, that was not too bad but if you work in a place where you have to wear covered shoes at that was kind of a pain um it hurt and it was swollen so I wore like um crocs and so they didn't rub as much and then I wore like moccasins so it didn't even touch the top of my foot because it was very swollen um I am running out of time so I'm just going to say like I said just go to a professional if you're gonna have anything done and I will add more information in the bottom bar because I'm sure I forgot some stuff and if you have any questions just ask me thanks for watching